Welcome to Newsboy on Track for Wednesday the 27th of February. The Cheltenham Festival gets ever closer and the markets for the big races are getting ever more lively. I spoke to Labrick's David Williams who told me about some movers in the Champion Hurdle and the Gold Cup. We started with the two mile feature. A couple of weeks ago, a bit of a scare around Grandouet missing his appointment with the trial. Uh, and there were rumours knocking around that Grandouet may actually miss the Cheltenham Festival. Those fears appear to have been allayed by the support that we've seen for Nicky Henderson's horse, 8-1 to one into 7-1. to one. And I imagine as soon as Nicky Henderson gives another upbeat bulletin, uh, Grandouet could and should go off an awful lot shorter than that 7-1. to one. The money has started to arrive for him. And you've also had some money for an outsider in the Gold Cup. We have, yeah, and this claim is a little bit of a surprise. Cape Tribulation is the horse uh, in question here. 33 to 1, into 25 to 1, into 20 to 1. And I suspect the next price change for that is going to be even shorter. Malcolm Jefferson's horse, of course, who won the Argento at the back end of January, beating Imperial Commander. We certainly thought that was his day in the sun. The punters aren't convinced. They think he's a knocking each way bet. Uh, and the 20 to 1 coming under pressure. And he's had a positive mention from his trainer over the last couple of days. He certainly has. And we're at that time of the year, Dave, aren't we, when uh, we're not seeing these horses now. We're relying on bulletins from the stables and people are trying to work out where their ammunition is going to go. Any upbeat reports tend to have a ripple effect on those antipost markets. Now, we've had news that Dermot World's Unaccompanied will not go for the OLBG David Nicholson Mayor's Hurdle, so presumably that means Quavega is now even shorter to win the race for a fifth time. No, she's not quite in the Sprinter Sacra uh, camp when it comes to the short prices. One to four Sprinter Sacra, but Quivega, she has also been trimmed now. She is just one to two. She'll be in many bankers, many accumulators when people are putting it together, but probably worth flagging, it's neither Sprinter Sacra nor Quivega who is the biggest bogey in the entire festival book. That honour goes to Jessica Harrington and J.P. McManus's horse, Jeski. Everyone banging on about my ten tour yours in the opening race of the festival. We do not want Jeski winning. He would be the most expensive horse if the festival were to kick off right now. That was David Williams of Labrooks with news on the Magic Signs Big Cheltenham Markets. We'll have more in Newsboy on Track on Saturday. Join us then.